For the past 25 years, I've worked in an institution with developing delayed adults. Then I decided to bring it home by fostering autistic kids. I would like to bring the experience that I have gained from these two things together to help you achieve a normal life. Curtis, no, no, you're gonna break the TV. No, big, no! Hi, you guys. You see how Curtis kept banging on his TV set? We don't want that, okay? We don't want a TV set to fall on top of his toes. We want him to be able to watch TV because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to turn it on. And so what we're going to do is we're going to install a light switch for Curtis to be able to turn on his own TV set, okay? So when he wants to turn on his TV set in the morning, I could sleep in because that's what I want to do on Saturday is sleep in if he could turn on his own TV set. And we already fixed his diaper issue, right? So no more leaks. Then maybe I could sleep in on a Saturday at least until 8, right? Well, anyway, Jeff already installed this for us. And we're going to put the TV set on top of this. I'm going to strap it down. And then I'm going to show you how to make a light switch today, all right? Okay, we put the TV up here. I secured it nice and secure so it won't fall on Curtis. And I even got a zip tie to make sure this extra strap won't hang down. All right, now we got a five foot wall channel that we're gonna install and I already got these hooked up here. We're gonna put that right there. And then we got a switch kit. And so what I need to do is I need to go back and I'm gonna go cut these right now and take these apart and then we'll be back to put it all together. I already put the wall mount on. Um, this is my kit here. I just laid them all out here so it's easy for me to do. Just two screws. And then I already busted these things off. See how there's three of them? So you could adjust them to anywhere you need. But I just broke those off. Now, what I'm gonna do, that there, I need to screw. Okay, so you see how this does not even come close to plugging in down there, okay? And so you get an extension cord, a regular extension cord, and what we did was we cut the little ends off like that, okay? You just cut them, rip them, cut them, rip them. Just tie them a little bit like that. And then go ahead and plug in your TV set, just like that, and you get your little this is an adapter that I've already cut. Remember I told you guys I was going to go cut it and we're going to go ahead and put it right down the top of it. Just like that. And do you guys remember the little brackets I showed you before? I'm going to go ahead and snap that bracket in. Stick that bracket right in here and it's a little snap. Wait, let's make sure. Let's come down here and let's make sure this is going to snap it. Okay, we need enough to work with here. Okay, then we come down, slide it down to where it snaps right in place. Okay, see? Nice and secure. Then we need enough here out just to work with it for right now, okay? And then we take the other end of the cord. This is the other end of the extension cord that we split, right? It's just an old extension cord. Pick up one anywhere, right? And then we take it and we shove it down this end. And 
look at that. It comes out the other end. So we're going to shove these two things right up here. Because we need wires to work with, right? There. And see how that's there? We're going to go ahead and snap it right in. See that? Make sure this is snapped in. There. Perfect. Okay. Now we gotta make sure we don't lose these guys. What we gotta do, here's your light switch. Make sure you got it in the proper motion, okay? Take this. Now I didn't plug it in. Notice I did not plug that in, okay? I'm not gonna get electrocuted. You take this, wrap it around the top wire. I like to make it a little. We'll do this one. We'll use this one. It's nice and long. Just wrap it around. Little hook. Okay. We could tighten her up a little bit. Just like this. I'm going to get one of the bottom wires. going to wrap one of these. I'm going to take the longest one. And then we're going to wrap that around. This not very good. I'm really Sorry, my fingers are in the way. Make that tighter. Let me take these two wires and we're going to mesh them together with this little protector. I don't know what they're called, but there. That's on that one, right guys? <laughs> Super power tools. Her, her. Okay, now let's plug this in. have to make sure the TV's on, okay? Ta-da! Oh, I guess the cable needs to be hooked up though, guys. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to tie all this up so that it won't be dangerous for the kids. So you just tie it on up here and see the back of the TV set? Look at this. It's a nice little compartment. And we can easily fold up all these wires. And then zip ties. Oh, zip ties, right? Zip ties are awesome. Especially for people with autistic kids or little kids, you know. 
in there. Zip tie this up. Lots of no zip time. Sorry guys. Put it right there. Slice off the zip tie. Yeah. And back here. Make sure that it's all up. We don't want to entice our kids, right? And then voila. Okay, you guys, so that's our switch for today. And remember, you guys can have a push button switch instead of a light switch, and you can actually find them online. And we'll actually post that down below for you guys. And you know, now that you saw how we showed you how to adapt a radio and now a TV set, imagine how much more we are gonna show you guys. So please subscribe below so then when the next video comes out, you guys will be emailed right away. It might be something that you just was like, whoa, why didn't I think of that? And so please, you guys, always make comments down below below if anybody's having some hard time because it takes an army to raise these kids, right? So come join our army. Bye for now, guys.